If the winter slush has you dreaming of a tropical paradise, you're in luck. Step inside the Tropical Conservatory at Lordson Gardens and you'll be greeted by whales and penguins and so much more. But these are no ordinary animals. They're made from recycled plastic and carry a very big message. Omaha World Herald visual journalist Brendan Sullivan shows us the artists behind these amazing creations. There's a lot of potential that we are missing out on by seeing um, these items as trash. And when I look at them, some of them, some of these items are quite beautiful. And I feel really bad for them because they're just kind of abandoned things. I feel like they're sort of like the orphans of our consumer society. And it makes me want to kind of gather them up and give them a new home where they can be appreciated and turned into something that's alive and in motion. I use mostly discarded plastic items from people's homes, like kitchen utensils and toys, uh, to make animal forms. Uh, in the tropical room here, I, I've made primarily sea creatures like dolphins and whale, jellyfish. Some of the jellyfish light up and there's also a coral reef arch that's going to light up. I think that having all these sea creatures inside of a space with tropical plants kind of make them uh, into a very magical space where the sea creatures really come to life because of this environment. Like it, it's about activating people and waking them up to this problem, but not like an alarm clock, more like a lullaby, like just gently wake up and see if we can change our habits. Sort of like how, you know, we realized that lead paint was a bad idea at a certain point. So I'm hoping people realize overuse of plastic is as well. And it's made from approximately 30, they're intended to be solar powered, illuminated sculptures made out of welded plastic, industrial plastic, taken from the waste stream. So that's what all these uh, lit components are. So there's gonna be this colorful stream of all the caps and it ends on orange and then rises up. And the reason I uh, wanted to create it that way was so that kids and people who come to the gardens can bring their caps, hopefully clean without yogurt or whatever on them, and add them to the respective color on the stream. So all the work is about um, exploring the kind of potential of this material we think of as so... We're confused about it as a society. We think of it as disposable, but it never goes away. It's not biodegradable. So it's the opposite of disposable, really which is why I love it as an art medium. So it's like all this kind of mixed up things that come together and I'm trying to like lift people's spirits and activate them through this. And at the same time, I can't help but have my own spirits lifted and activated. It's really a great honor. It's like super exciting.